What is up guys, Avon Doom coming at you from Queens, New York, and I am back after thoroughly embarrassing myself with Billy Bombs, <laughs> like we're back. a couple of weeks ago and being blasted on both Twitch and YouTube and busting my head open because... I, I love how you got made fun of. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So, who am I with? Billy Bombs. All right. I haven't been on in a while. Yes, yes, back, back, back. Yeah, worldwide. I, I, I just I, thought that was the funniest prestige, shit. Prestige. Worldwide. Right, how was it? The, Titus. Worldwide. We've been watching wrestling. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. So I made them aware that you were uh, that uh, you've been out on the front lines fighting the hordes of uh, SJWs and um, you know. Oh peasants. yeah, put me in that trouble. Yeah, we're my <laughs> favorite show. Yep, that's what's gonna fucking happen. We're gonna get demonetized before we get monetized. <laughs> Anyways, so that hurts. I, I know, need the I money. Know. It's, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. But it's on right. this episode, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna talk about my CGC collection. I just started of comic books. Indeed. What? How? When? Uh, you started collecting these? What? Last year? No, was Not it this a year? A couple of months ago. Yeah, yeah, it was this year. Yeah. I never really got into those, mm -hmm. but like, I was like, "Fuck it, man! If you're gonna buy something that's worth a lot of money, why not get it graded?" Yeah. And then uh, we're going to show you later on in this episode the ones I just sent out that I've had for years or I bought were ungraded and I had them graded. So it was dope. But let me show you the first one I got and then you'll know why I bought it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's going to be a first appearance of somebody. It's the first appearance. Oh, oh glare, glare. Glare. Ooh, glare. Yeah, the first appearance of glare because you can't fucking hold the comic book. I didn't know. Put it up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Because fucking... Billy is fucking Good job, Blair Boy. Yo, listen, shut the hell up. Okay. Miss Marvel number one, first appearance of Miss Marvel. It's okay. They'll be happy. Look, they, look, 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 look. It's Inception Mutant Metal Maniacs. I hate Inception <laughs> Mutant Metal Maniacs. Because I don't know yeah. who put who in there. But anyway, <laughs> what's cool is like on the back is the is the like advertisements. I love that shit. That's it's my favorite. Evil can evil miniatures. But this is from uh, 1977. It's the first appearance of Carol Danvers as Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel number one. Miss Marvel 8. number 5. one. 8.5 is the first one I ever got. But we got a couple to go, so let me show it off. Wait, so that's a... Uh, oh, I, I didn't even realize. Is that J. Jonah Jameson's, like, head floating there? With yeah, it's Mary a floating... Jane? Yeah, yeah, and because it's... Everything had to be something to do with Spider-Man. Really? Yeah, you want to see... Now, let's move on right, to my let's first go, let's go. DC one, because we got a couple of it's these. It's kind of funny, because we were literally we, just We were just making fun of this film. film. Like, we were right next to it. Suicide like, Squad? We were right next to... What? The, that's not even English, man. I'm rusty. What? No, no, I... Nothing. <laughs> Suicide Squad number one. Yeah, we were. Just, I bought it yeah. for thirty bucks, already graded. I thought it was kind of cool. Nothing special. About I don't it, think but... anybody. Wait, is it? All right, who is it? It's uh, who's Catman? I'm sorry, I'm I such a noob with it, some it, of this. Don't stuff. worry about it because you and I don't. <laughs> it doesn't remember. fucking matter. It doesn't matter who he is. And then here's another character who oh, yeah, Guardians is fans. Fucking awesome. Nova, his first appearance in his own book, and obviously there's Spider Man in here too. Is Spider-Man in that one, the, too? In the Marvelous tradition of Spider-Man, the man oh, called Nova. Oh, that's awesome. Really trying well, to grab that Well, make sure they money. see it. It's a 9.2. 9.2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's Worldwide. hard to see. The, glare, the glare sucks. But, but it's, here's, it's an, still cool. here's another one that has nothing to do with Marvel and DC, but I thought it was cool. It's a Sandman book. Signed Sandman, by Neil Gaiman. that's kind of cool, yeah. But it's another company called CBCS that does verify signatures. If you... Because CBG... I mean, CBG, <laughs> CBG, so CBG does these other ones. <laughs> but CGC doesn't... Uh, unless Check they're there out. to witness it, they won't recognize the signature. It'll just be written uh, words on comic, they'll say. <laughs> Best movie ever on Deadly Ground starring Steven Seagal. Starring Macho. Oh, shit. Yeah, Macho, you watching this? We love you still. Worldwide. <laughs> Worldwide. All right. Here's a book that has no, not, nothing. It's, it's like not no worth value. Shit. It's nothing. It's a, just a It was cool 90 color. bucks for nothing. Hulk vs. Wolverine 9.0. Mm. I just could have got this for 20 bucks and got it CGC whatever. But it's fine. You, you bought it CGC that one? I got it at, yeah. at New York Comic Con last yeah, year. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so from New York Comic Con, you're buying them. Yeah. But this is my first book that's this not Marvel, awesome. not DC, and it's the first appearance of... The question. That's fucking awesome. Charlton Comics, Blue Beetle number one from uh, June 1967. This, this is fucking cool because I I didn't even know like Blue Beetle was like a completely different company. Um, the question, of course, is with the guy at the Rorschach. It's a 7.5. Yeah, yeah, so this it's is not bad the... for a book. I've never had a Charlton book, so I thought that was dope. And... Um, I went to go get the first appearance of Punisher and a 5.0 was $750. <gasps> so I went, oh, 
I'm gonna buy you a first appearance of somebody that's worth a lot <laughs> before it comes out. So I got the first appearance of a man called Cable. Oh, that's fucking yeah. yeah Nine point six. Uh, I've never owned this book, so I got it. Wow, you never had it at all. Never had it. I always had a reprinting, but never the original. That's first dope. appearance of Strife, Mutant Liberation Front, and Cable. So new since the movie's coming out and it looks phenomenal. We we highly recommend buying this. The yeah. price is up and down because people are buying and selling like so. Crazy. So since this is coming, since all right, so since the character is coming out with a movie, let's stay on this one for a bit. So I'm pretty sure like a ton of people know, but for don't people who don't know, what the fuck are the New Mutants? Okay, New Mutants yeah. is like the next wave of X Men, but they all became X Force like uh, Boom Boom Cannonball. Oh, fuck, I for, uh, I forget her name, and I think yeah. this one was. The other guy in here, I think, was a multiple man, or it mm. might have been Richter. Mm. I always mess that up. But I forget the chick's name. She was a great character. This is Rob Liefeld and McFarlane doing the cover. Um, so that's why they're X-Force in the Deadpool movie. Yes. 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 Okay, all so in now there. that makes X-Force okay. is going to be a lot of fun. Um, here's another thing. You see this thing here? These are, uh, these are uh, comic book store editions where there's no barcode. If you get one of these with a barcode, did you see? They're supposedly worth more. But who really gives a shit? They always are damaged. Don't stress it. Yeah, yeah, Just collect yeah. it. I like Spider-Man's little face. Mm -hmm. This was a... Uh, this uh, Brooklyn school teacher came up with this idea mm -hmm. that for comic shops that they would buy it at a lesser price, but you can't return it because that's the only thing that um, newsstands can do that nobody else can is they can return the books. So sometimes they would sell it to people, buy it back after they read it, and then send it back to be reprinted. Okay, okay. Hold on. Uh, there was one more question that I had. Oh, so you said these guys. This is this was X Force. So New this how it started. X Force. Yes. Oh, okay. So then, uh, so Cyclops started X Force. Is that what happened? Is that what? No, no, no. Later that... on, uh, Cyclops reforms uh, X Force uh, and has Wolverine in charge. Because and this is years later. This is like twenty five yeah. years later, where he wants them to be uh, like on uh, on the offensive against anything oh. against the mutants. It's fucking phenomenal. Okay. Rick, Rick Remender wrote those yeah. books. First is Craig Yost and. Uh, Craig, or I think it's Craig Yost and and, and Craig Hall. Mm. Sorry about that. I didn't really think ahead on this one. You know, you those know, guys are really good. I have their trades, it's... and it's really good. But Rick Remender writes the best ones of them all. The guy from Fear Agent, and uh, he came up with Agent Venom. He's phenomenal. I just got Agent Venom the other day. Not CGC, but I found it for 20 bucks. Oh, first really? That's I'm going to cool. send it in to get it graded. Do you remember a lot about X-Force? I thought it was the most over the top book because everybody's like this the super big jacked. ass nineties, yeah, 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 mad pockets. You don't yeah, have enough pockets. That's fucking already. amazing, yeah. Because it was like so. Maybe we'll just talk about that like um, soon. Since, oh, because we're gonna Deadpool's do a review of Deadpool. Out, right? but hold on, before we jump to this one, because yeah. I would like to show these off. But like, we're gonna get to Venom. We're gonna get to all that stuff with McFarlane. But let's stick to the X Force. X Force. This movie has X Force in it. Shadow Stars in it. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about. Um, I think it's GW Bridge is uh, Terry Crews' character. Mm -hmm. They say his name, but every time I rewind it, I miss it. So I apologize. yeah, I, I was asking you who. Yeah, who I kept, Terry was. but uh, I'm that just character happy he's is in awesome. The Marvel Universe now, dude. Terry Crews is good at anything. He could have, he would have been a great bishop. That would have been he fucking been awesome, dude. Bishop. Even if he was Luke Cage, it would have been awesome. Like, nah, no, nah, I like Luke Cage. I like that. No, I, no, I, I, I love. Cage. No, I love that character. I love the guy that plays him. But, mm -hmm. but still, he's very he down to earth and good guy. Like I like uh, you listen to him on podcasts. It's phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still want him in Overwatch. Oh, wow. Blizzard, I don't, I'm Blizzard, not Blizzard totally disappointed us. We were waiting for for him because he's a huge Overwatch fan. Because mm -hmm. he bought like a he bought like two or three computers just to play with his son. That's dope. Because his son loves video games, so he got into video games to play with his son, and uh, and he oh, look a like... strong black male character in life. Exactly, and, and he and we're dude... gonna always talk about negative people and to bring out the worst. Thank and you, Trump. Yeah, so he yeah, so he fucking um, so he got like you know he's a famous guy, so he has connections. So I guess like he ended up like hooking up with like a lot of the Blizzard guys, which is the companies that make like World of Warcraft, Overwatch. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was like a big buzz where they wanted him to to voice a character. That'd be dope. Yeah, and there was a fucking character called Doomfist that everyone wanted him to play, and they they didn't use him. That's pathetic. It's they so bullshit. It. Fuck you, Blizzard. Oh, you make me so mad. Anyways, so I go on a fucking tangent. All right, listen. I finally sent in my first three books to get CGC themselves. Mm. So they're like, uh, don't zoom in and look at the barcodes, but they're literally five, six, seven. F the last numbers mm -hmm. um, I did at Royal Collectibles which is our local comic shop that we love so I sent in three first appearances and I got pretty good grades on them for how much they were mm -hmm. uh, this book I never owned before 
This is the first one, Spider Man three hundred. This I I bought it for one fifty, and it was like a seven fit. It was like a seven point five or a seven. Mm-hmm. And it, when we sent it, it came back as an eight. So I'm very excited by that. It's the first Venom. Uh, there's a cameo appearance beforehand where it's a female Venom, and she shoves Spider Man in front of a train or something like mm-hmm. that, which is a book you should get if you can. CGC whatever. He's originally a uh, Venom is supposed to be. Um, after he departs from him, uh, mm-hmm. you know, gets away from uh, Spider Peter Parker gets away from the Venom symbiote. Yeah. Symbiote finds somebody that hates him, but they find Eddie Brock in the story. But the original story is a woman who's uh, who's pregnant and she's on the way to the hospital, and he's fi- and Spider Man is fighting Doctor Octopus, and he caused a car accident, killing the husband and the baby. So she becomes Venom, but it was too hard for her at times. <gasps> That Tom McFarlane was totally so for that. So fucking sick. McFarlane is good at whatever he touches. But that sucks that didn't happen. Uh, I would have been dope if they did like a what if. like a, yeah, You know what? There's a lot of what ifs that never came so out. So cool. Yeah. So uh, there's a, I'm waiting for the epic collection of this come out. I have the Todd McFarlane whole set of every book he ever did as yeah. an omnibus. Mm-hmm. But now I'm into epic collection, so I want to see him complete. So it makes yeah. me happy. And Tom McFarlane's phenomenal. This is he invented spaghetti webbing, which is now what like the was that him? Yeah, it's I know the, he made like the big eyes and the the big like, eyes weird spider. It's like, weird like looking. seeing this shit in CGC though. Why? I don't know. It looks like air bubbles. I'm like, oh, but it's still an it's, 8.0. I don't know if that's air bubbles because I don't know. No, who knows? Okay, who knows? Move on Whatever. To the next it one. doesn't matter. It's still they, cool. Since so this is another first appearance, I bought off somebody's collection on the street. And uh, this was worth, totally worth the five bucks I got. That's an awesome card. First appearance of yeah. Deathstroke. New Teen Titans number two. I'm a huge Titans fan. And the fact that he was at the end of the Justice League film, I think, he shows up with Lex Luthor. Who? Uh, De- Deathstroke. Oh, yeah, I still haven't seen Justice League. Yeah, That's neither why. have I. I, I. I'm not. I'm good on that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't. But <laughs> it's cool because originally it's Ravager says he kills him. Ravager is oh, like Deathstroke's son. son. Yeah, yeah, and okay. he completes the contract for Ravager. And it's a Marvel Wolfman story is amazing, and George Perez is good at anything he does. New Teen Titans number two. Let me number two, yeah. They were coming up with new characters, which I thought was awesome. <laughs> You're too late to save your fellow Titans, Raven. I've just killed them all. Man, he's a dick. He just like, t- <laughs> he's, he's like, then, bro, then, uh, you didn't kill them. Uh, I did. Fucking hell, man. That's that's a fucking that's a father son relationship that has some serious problems. We oui, we. Oui. <laughs> Now, right, uh, this is my creme de la resistance. <laughs> this is my, I have a tattoo of this. Uh, not this cover, but of Hellboy himself. The first appearance of Hellboy. From Next Men. What was it? Next Men number 21. Uh, Mike Mignola. I'll always uh, treasure meeting that guy. And he's also my man when I was 13. And I just bought a book because I felt bad for him. I swear to God. That's crazy. This yeah, my St. Favorite Mark's story. Comics. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, and even on the back is like a full version. Oh, I didn't even realize that that was in the back. There's of no it. advertisement or nothing. Oh shit! Check that out. That's dope. I've never seen that before. I, uh, I don't know if I ever told the story of when I met Mike Vignola, but I think cool. you did. I think you did. Yeah. So let me refresh you, New Jacks. Uh, yeah. I was 13 years old and I walked into St. Mark's Comics in Greenwich Village, and no, in the East Village, on St. Mark's Place, and they uh, and he was just standing there like this at a table in the middle of the room signing autographs, but there was nobody there to sign. So I just bought a Hellboy book because I felt bad. Mm. And then I've been hooked for life. I have my left arm as a Hellboy tattoo, uh, half sleeve. I love him to death. And then mm. years years ago, I went to go see him at uh, New York Comic Con. The line was down the block and around the corner, man. That's that so shit was almost on crazy. back to 42nd Street. Yo, but that's what happens when you believe in yourself and you do your own work and you just try harder than anybody else. So, so all right, so real quick. So this one says, so the first color appearance, what is the black and white appearance? The black and white one was a... Uh, it's not this version of Hellboy. Mm-hmm. It's a different Hellboy from San Diego Comic Con, like a sketch cover pamphlet that they gave out. Oh, really? Yeah, and they, it so it's not really like even like a comic book appearance. No, it's no. just like a bullshit. Like, yeah, it's a bullshit sketch he did. Mm-hmm. But that was a character he was working on. Um, Mondo, Mondo, the ones who, Mondo, the company that does art posters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Uh, vinyl. They put out a like statue a of that. Oh, no, they put out a statue of it. Oh, yeah. that's dope. I have a Lobster Johnson statue, and I'm waiting for Electric Tiki's uh, Hellboy statue to find to mm. go with my other stuff. I have a giant Hellboy, and I have the second version of the artist edition. I wish I bought the first of Mike Mignola's art. Yeah, I collect yeah. that stuff. Yeah, I, I need more of those artist editions, but if hell, you can't go wrong with Hellboy. It's like Jack Kirby. And, you need Mike Mignola, Jack Kirby, John Byrne, mm. who wrote Next Men and did most of the art. He was the guy who did uh, Fantastic Four for years, and it's phenomenal because they're so cosmic, the stories. Because between um, 
between uh, uh, Jack Kirby's and Stanley's end of their run, mm-hmm. which is like 105 of Fantastic Four. I couldn't tell you shit up until uh, uh, this guy took over John Byrne. John Byrne. Yeah, and his Fantastic Four mm-hmm. is awesome. Um, I'm, my next tattoos actually are going to be Silver Surfer and The Thing. And, but it's going to be Jack Kirby, but John Byrne was mad close because his his thing is awesome. But his, if you really want to see good stuff, uh, X-Men 94, where it's Chris Claremont and John Byrne doing the artwork and all that stuff. His Alpha Flight, Sasquatch, all those characters are fucking yeah. sick. They're sick, man. I love that shit. You're trying to build Sasquatch right now. Yeah, the no, I'm not. Figure. I want the original figure. I don't want to get from Marvel Legends. Mm-hmm. I'm not a builder figure. I don't like opening them. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I, I got know, man I know, thing. I, I like statues sucks. and I like uh, keeping them boxes. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather have statues. I'm, I'm not like... A, the figures get... You lose space because there's so many all the time. Yeah, we we used to have the background for the show was all figures yeah, that open yeah, and yeah. some on the wall. And mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, there's a lot of holes, mm-hmm. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, I this, felt like I owned the comic show. Yeah, this time I figured I, I dislike him so much that I figured I'd strike him with lightning. Uh, every time oh, he sits yeah. down. So. I, I, well, I used to be banned from ABC No Real. Yeah. <laughs> we used to cover banned from DC when we yeah, played on the show. <laughs> was banned from ABC. Yeah, yeah. No, no, this is cool. But what was next, man, though? Next one was his was just his own run. Just I like never some... bought the trades. I need to really get on. That. Oh yeah, yeah. Just, it's on my list. It's probably cool. gonna be on my Amazon list. All right. Well, all right. I think well, that's that wraps about up it, for right? this. We're yeah. gonna have more another set. Like I figure, over time, uh, I'm in twenty twenty, gonna... we'll have a, a new one for you for the the twenty twenty elections. Well, we're wrapping it up. Uh, I'm, I'm a Billy lazy Bombs. Piece of garbage. Uh, I'm Billy Bombs. He's, I'm a lazy piece of garbage. and <laughs> We're mutant metal maniacs, and we'll catch you next time. Yeah, I, because we have a bunch of pasta that we got to finish, because that's just going to get cold, and I'm fucking hungry. So, uh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, catch you on the flip wide. side. No, pasta worldwide. Oh, hold on, hold on real quick. Yeah, we are the bar, bitch. We can't do it. Uh, we can't. We're too fat. All right, we're too close yeah, together. I know. I got that yoga, DDP yoga. <laughs> Not enough. Oh, yeah.